Today we're going to learn how to do this animation in Geometry Node. Let's delete the camera, the light, go to Geometry Node. We are going to close this panel, and today we are going to stay with this panel because it will be useful to see something here. So let's create a new profile, and I want to use another object to do something interesting. So let's add, for example, a monkey. I'm going to move it here. Let's come back to this cube. I'm going to lock this, so when I click here, I don't lose this panel. And now I want to bring this information here. So let's add object info. And let's select this object. Choose that. OK, first I'm going to show you this node called convex hood. If we add this here, let's see what happens with the cube. Basically, nothing happens, nothing changes. We have the same number of vertex, edges, faces, etc. Let's mute it. We can see nothing changed. However, let's mute this. Let's join these two geometries. So let's add join geometry. Let's go into here. Now I can see that the monkey is here. I don't want it here. I want it in this position. So I have to select relative. And now I have the copy of Susan in this position. Perfect. If now we activate this with M, look what is going to happen. What is happening is what you are seeing. It's like converting all the geometry that we have together in one single geometry. And maybe you are thinking, but maybe it's like a surface and inside we have the real geometry. No, look, I'm going to click here and you can see, okay, now because we have selected the original monkey. But if I select this geometry node, you can see that part of the cube has been deleted. And almost all the monkey have been deleted. If I click here, it's the other monkey. Not the geometry node, it's this monkey that I can hide it. But here you can see that we lost a lot of geometry. And you can see this here. Look, now we have 56 vertex. However, if I mute this, now we have more than 500. And for example, we have 1000 of edge. But if I enable this, look, we are getting 156 edge. So we are deleting, removing a lot of vertex edges faces. And this is what's happening. Basically, it's taking the parts that are more far away of the center and it's being joined with a new mesh with the other object. For example, let's move this. Let's come back to this object and let's try to scale. I'm going to scale this. Actually, I'm going to activate this mesh so you can see it better. And I'm going to rotate it. As you can see, always depends of the part that is more far away of the center. And we can do the same with the cube. Actually, we need a transform here. Now, actually, what I'm going to do is to add another object. And now let's move this icosphere, for example, here. As you can see, now we have a cube, an icosphere, and the monkey. And everything is being converted in one single object. So you can add as many objects as you want that convex hull always will try to convert it in one single mesh and get the minimum vertex edges faces. Okay, so now you know how this works. You can try to play to do different things, add different objects. And now I'm going to show you another way to use this with points. So let's delete all this. This one too, and the mesh. And let's add points. First of all, I'm going to connect this here, but I'm going to mute it. So now we have some points here. Where is the point? I cannot see the point. Wait a minute. Ah, okay, because we were here in wireframe. So let's delay this. Now I don't need it. You understand how it works. And I want to create a lot of points. So I'm going to add, for example, 20 and I want to offset these points in all directions. To do this we need set position and we need to offset with a noise texture. We need to use really important the color, not the factor, because we'll use all directions. Before we continue, we need to make these points come back in the same point. So we need to add a vector math in subtract and subtract. 0.5 in all the axes. 
so we get back all the points to the center. So you can ignore this. This is just to get back this point. Now, okay, we added this, and we don't see any point being spread in all directions. To do this, what we have to do is to say to noise texture, please apply this texture, but based in the index of these points. So how we do that? We need to add here in vector just index. And now we can see all the points. So every point is taking a different direction based in the noise texture. So here we can play with this to see that depends on the scale and other options, they have a different position. Okay, but how we can increase these directions? For example, going more far away. To do this, what we have to do is to add here an scale. So let's add vector math and let's add it in a scale. So we can increase this direction. Actually, a mistake, we need to add it after this. If not, it's being pushed by this modification we did before. So let's move this here. And now it's working perfectly. Look. So with this, we are pushing, we are increasing this effect. Okay, so now we have a lot of points in all directions. And if you want more points, we can increase it here. Now, if we use this with the points, it's the same that using with objects. What this will do is to connect all the points with a mesh but only the ones that are outside. For example, something like this. It will not connect the ones that are inside. So let's check it. Let's rebuild this. And we have this. Interesting, right? And now what we can do, look, if I add more points, it will change because for example, if there is a new point here, then it will try to do it like that. But what we can do, we can animate this. How? Click here and select 4D. And now, if we move this, what we are doing, let me mute this. With this, we can move all these points. But if we activate this, we have this effect. Mm, interesting, right? So you can make this abstract animation. To animate this constantly, what we have to do is to add a scene time. We can use seconds. Or frames. Okay, now it's too fast. I'm going to decrease this first so it will be slower. And to make it slower, we need to divide this velocity. So let's add a math and select divide so we can slow down this velocity. For example, by 10. Hmm, interesting, right? So now you know how to do this animation. And if you want to convert this like a network, it's really easy. Let's convert this to a curve. So let's go here in the end and let's add mesh to curve. So now we have this. And now let's convert it again to curve to mesh. And let's select, for example, a circle curve. Let's make it smaller, something like 0. 0 0.01, let's try. And now we have this interesting abstract shape that basically is a lot of points being moved with this interesting node. And let's add some material. For example, let's go here and let's add set material so we can see the material we're going to use. Let's go to material and let's create a new material. I'm going to call it blue glow and let's go to emission and select blue and increase the strength. And to see the glow, we need to go here, activate the blue. And now I cannot see anything, obviously, because I need to select the material. And now we have this. I'm going to increase a bit the glow. So let's increase it a bit. And let's see this beautiful animation.
really easy to do. If you want to increase the lines, let's just add a little more, for example, 0 0.02. And look how beautiful is it. If you think it's too fast, what you can do is just slow down the velocity, for example, 20. And now, also, what you can do is to add more points. More points doesn't mean more lines, but you can play with it to see different shapes. For example, if I add two points, we only have one single line. If I add three points, we have this triangle. If I add four, sometimes we have like a cube. So you get the idea, right? So you can make this animation, starting from here and increasing. Or you can scale this, you can change that. I mean, you can do a lot of things. But at least you know another interesting use of this node called Convex Hood. And I hope you learn a lot of new things. And if you want to learn more about geometry nodes and Blender animation and motion graphics, I recommend you to subscribe, to give a like, and also you can donate this project in my pattern. And see you in the next video.